Hello and welcome to today's urgent cryptocurrency technical analysis where together we're going to be diving straight into the Bitcoin chart here. I'm going to be covering the large drop to the downside that we are seeing. Of course, as I posted for you over on Twitter, I'm going to be explaining why last night I was very confident to my team explaining short and chill. Went to sleep with those shorts and woke up a very happy man with the drop. I'm going to explain the exact reasons why I was so confident in that drop. As I told you, I'll give you an update on the short that I took yesterday, which was for around $700,000, currently in around $45,000 profit, which is just around, you know, 12 hours of trading, 45k profit. I'll be explaining the reasons for this trade and what I'm looking for next for the rest of the week to come. Okay. This also includes talking briefly around the FTX FTT token and Binance, BNB, what's going on here and, and why, in my opinion, this did lead to a drop to the downside. I'll be explaining everything that you need to know in this video. All I ask of you is one simple thing. I'm not going to ask for any likes. I'm not going to ask for any retweets. I'm not going to ask for anything else in this video. Only one thing, and that is that you pay attention. Why do I want you to pay attention? Because I truly believe I can help you with the information that I will provide you in this video. I'm going to be providing you the levels that I'm looking at right now the insights into the market and the experience that I can share with you that I've gained over the years. So you will learn something from this video. You will walk away a happy person, but you need to pay full attention. Okay. So without further said or do, let's get into what you're here for in a very professional manner. Let's cover this in three steps. Step number one, what went on yesterday? Step number two, the drop. Okay. Step number three, what I'm looking for next for the rest of the week to come. Everything that you need to know, you're going to learn in this video. So let's get straight into it. Okay, picking up on step number one, this local range that we saw yesterday leading to the drop to the downside. So we obviously had our local range right yesterday. And this is what we were talking about in yesterday's video. I had a long from the low and a short from the high. And then that long was obviously off of our naked point of control. We had the naked point of control retest of the CC retested the CC, which actually we were talking about that in the video yesterday. We were at that local CC, which was the low, by the way, and that was the low, which read to a, led to a rise. And as you can see, that rise actually came up into our local CC resistance. So from that last high down to the low, we pulled this Fibonacci that you can see here, high to low, and we came up into the CC resistance. Okay. So obviously at the time, the short that we had from this level, okay, of the swing failure pattern had been stopped out. That was a stopped out trade. The long at the time was still running. And this is what we teach at Chart Champions. Okay. Stopped out of that short, but we've provided another short position from higher. Okay. So just because we get stopped out of this, we're still waiting for our next level and our next reaction. And we come up to this level and we form a nice rejection and we start to pull back into the value area high at the time. Okay. For me, this. I'm a very aggressive on my short trades. I think it's fair to say with this, right? Um, we saw on this rise a very, very massive bearish CVD divergences. Okay. So very massive CVD bearish divergences. Here we can see the run up, the run up, the run up. We're leaving overall a lot of trap longs. Okay. And the, the, I mean, here are the highs at around 21,300, right? And we can see that this high made here at 20,850-ish yesterday was even higher in terms of the CVD. So we saw crazy, massive, bearish CVD divergences. We're left with some trap longs at the high. And you can see my entry here is up at around that zone. For me, I decided to take this trade, you know, initially aggressively offered a CC and then compounded it slightly as we start to change the one minute market structure. So in the end, I got into around $700,000 uh, short position size. Of course, I've moved a lot of my profits over to Tether right now um, <laughs> because overall on the medium term, large term time frame, I am bearish. So, um, you know, I protected my capital and I kind of foresaw what was happening here. OK, so this was what we were looking at at the time. Obviously, we'd seen that rejection. We're back into the value area high. And, you know, after the CC rejection, back into the value area high, I'm overall expecting a full rotation back down, e.g. another large drop. And it's like I went on to say my team yesterday, and this was before this large drop that we saw. Okay, so before the large drop, I said to my team, going to short and chill. And it's like, um, it's been a while. It has been a while since I've told my team, just short and chill. I'm waiting for lower. There's no long opportunity here. There's not going to be another long to be had here at the lows. Okay. And I was so, I was very, 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 very confident in lower at this moment in time. 
And let me explain why I was so confident in another drop to the downside. Again, I'm posting that while we're here. Okay. And this was because of what's going on at the moment with FTX and Binance, right? So there is a lot of fear around these exchanges. You all heard the, the rumors that FTX is going to be uh, running out of money. It's going to be insolvent there, you know, and then there's like, this is the rumors, but then you actually see the CEOs, you know, you see CZ of, of Binance and Sam of FTX, like having arguments with each other over Twitter. It's just extremely unprofessional. Um, it's, it just looks very, very, very bad when you see these people like having arguments with each other over Twitter, saying that they want to sell their assets. And, you know, just, it's just, just like childish games, and it's not something that you want to see from an exchange that you, you know, a lot of people have millions and millions and millions of dollars in these exchanges, right? And this is something that you're like, wow, okay, this is extremely unprofessional. Then you start to see the rumors of insolvency. Naturally, people are scared, right? If I had money on those exchanges, I would be taking the sensible, you know, de, you know, removing risk. And how do I remove risk? It's removing funds from those exchanges, right? And I saw it happening in droves. You can see people, they're all withdrawing from FTX. Yeah, money is coming out of that exchange quickly. Some people are withdrawing, withdrawing from Binance. It's, it's not really, but it's not bullish, period. It's not bullish to see that. And that's why I was so confident to tell my team short and chill okay short and chill just wait for lower and then well overnight we saw the large drop to the downside currently bouncing off of the daily level by the way this bounce was off of the daily level so we got the bounce off the daily and it's like i told my team last week remember when i told my team this if you're a champion or a contender you'd have known but last week i told my team a new low is going to be made to stop the early longs and we had it again today right so the bounce off the daily Loads and loads of longs opening up at this high. I will just show you this on the order flow. You can see here lots of longs opening into high 4.2 million, 3.6 million, 2.8 million. So on the first initial bounce, we just had a lot of longs opening. My thought process was really simply the same as last time. I'm expecting this again. I'm expecting those early longs to be stopped out. Okay, and what happened next? Well, that was correct. And we have come down to make another low. Okay, so if you check across different exchanges, the lowest being made obviously on Bybit, it's a double bottom at the moment. But nevertheless, I knew people were going to be interested in longing this low to high. This was the CC, right? So if I give you this update live in the time, as we're at that CC, I'm expecting a new low to be made. You're probably going to take some caution longing this CC, right? And I hope that I was able to assist a lot of my champion members with that call because we did drop down through that CC, as you can see, you drop down through the CC to form a new low there. Um, and then, so that's really what we were looking at over the past, you know, 12, 24 hours. Okay, local range, broke to the upside. Remember, we had the long from the low, short from this high. And it's like, this is exactly what we teach, right? So this was a brilliant post from a member here. This is why he loves trading like chart champions. Long gets stopped overall. We'd obviously then this long gets stopped out. So we can see long get stopped out and let the short run and look for the next level. We went straight through the daily. Remember, we had that daily 20,140. Because we went straight through that level, there is no trade. There's no trade to be had because we went straight through it. And that's why we always say trade the reaction. So we had a daily marked out here around 2140. Because we just go straight through the level with no reaction, there's no trade to be had. And that's why we, that is what we teach period at Chart Champions. And this is a brilliant example from a member here that's come in, learned from us, and then exceedingly doing well with his trades. So then remember this, long from the low, short from the high. This short got stopped out, but we were given another trade entry here. So then you still have this short running. This long obviously gets stopped out. You then even get a really nice retest. This retest was, it was, <laughs> very 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 generous okay this was a very generous retest okay at this point uh i'd obviously confirmed to my team i'm shorting and chill i'm shorting and chill you had the retest <sighs> yeah this was your opportunity okay <laughs> if you knew what my opinion was and then through the night we saw over a five percent drop to the downside dropping 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 and again why are we bouncing where we're bouncing from it's this daily level so we're bouncing currently from the daily Okay, so that has explained everything that's went on over the past 24 hours. I hope that's very co coherent for you. I hope that makes a lot of sense. And I hope you can understand how 
you know, I've foreseen this and once again, putting my money where my mouth is, right? I'm not scared to take the trades. I'm not hesitating to take the trades. I'm in here, you know, trading away, making money and guaranteeing profit, whatever happens next. I can obviously set a stop loss on this now in profits. Okay. And whatever happens next, I'm going to be guaranteed at least, at least if I get stopped out of this trade, $20,000 today. Okay. Obviously I would prefer to see lower and I could get this into around $50,000 profit for the day. But I'm guaranteed at least $20,000 profit today, whatever happens next. And I think you can imagine as a trader, uh, that's a very nice position to be in. But I only can get into these positions by reading the charts, understanding the levels, reading the divergences. I mean, just once again, the divergences that we had on that CC retest last night were, were very large indeed. And that was the reason we rejected. That's the reason why I'm expecting a full rotation back down. That's the reason why I went into my shorts and chills. And that's why I woke up today with everybody that went along with that very happy indeed with the large drop to the downside um so yeah now that's explained that i want to explain what i'm looking for next right um as i said i want to do a really quick talk about binance and ftx i'm not going to spend too long on this but this did lead to a drop okay so why was i so confident in the drop well i was my i was looking at ftt which is obviously this ftx token right and this was just extremely weak we had saw this like 15% or 18% drop to the downside. Okay. Obviously I think it was like $22, $21 was getting protected. And, um, this then dropped yesterday really strongly dropped really strong. And upon seeing that massive drop on FTT token, that was my thought process. I really think Bitcoin's going to follow. And it took a while. You see this drop actually took like one hour later, it took another hour, but that was my heads up. My heads up was seeing the weakness on FTT. Upon seeing that weakness on FTT and just knowing, okay, people are leaving like in droves right now, FTT, you know, they're, they're leaving the F, FTX exchange, you know, it's getting kind of a lot of fear. People are also now really mad at, at CZ because there's this like war going on. They're both, they're both like threatening to sell off assets and it just is extremely childish and unprofessional. So people are not happy with Binance. People are not happy with FTX, right? And then I saw that's what the news is saying. But then I saw it in the charts. Yeah, this is, you look at this, this tokens down 28%. It's getting wrecked. You know, people are saying it's the next Luna sort of thing. It's just looking very, 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 very bad. So my thought process is, well, I, I cannot imagine that with this amount of fear going on and the fear is warranted, right? It's not just fear, but this is actually, this is real. You know, you, you see the, the CEOs going at each other. You, you see them, you know, it's, it's, you can see it. So with, seeing that on, on on the charts my thought process is i am short and show I'm, I'm not going to be even thinking about longing this I'm, I'm expecting lower um and lower we got right and so my thought process is on in terms of the the, the fear and the, the fud and everything that's going around with those exchanges personally i do understand um even if it is nothing right even if this is nothing players let's say you have well even if you only have like ten dollars and that's a lot to you whether you have ten dollars or a hundred million dollars you're gonna want to take care and caution right when you start to see all this 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 fear going on and i think a lot of it is legitimate so when you start to see this um people are naturally withdrawing their funds people are naturally selling their tokens to get out and that is of course causing a lot of selling pressure and with the market conditions like they are we are in a bear market right with market conditions already bad in a bear market, and then a lot of people are selling, you don't have that buying pressure to hold up price, and that's why you avalanche down. Um, this is, of course, though now coming into support. We have to remember we we dropped heavily. We've dropped heavily to the downside. We've dropped through, you know, quite a lot of support levels back down to a nineteen four hundred currently. And I do not want to underestimate this. This zone that we have here is very very large support. If lost, turns into large resistance. But this from the daily that we are bouncing from at the moment from the daily down to this lower npoc at around eighteen thousand nine hundred. this is our support zone i would not really get bearish down here you, you're not going to see me opening new shorts here this is a zone where i'm looking for scalp longs you know i'm happy to take a scalp long down here if i get the opportunity of course um looking to take profits on on you know this is just a, this is just a day trade right this was just a scalp trade that ended into a swing like a bit of a day trade this was a low term time frame setup but that low term time frame setup has ended into pretty nice profits 
Okay, of course, I still hold all my swing shorts, sixty nine thousand, fifty two thousand dollars, forty eight thousand. You know, I've, I've, I still hold those swing shorts, but this was a sculpt tra trade that's ended into a nice, nice little setup, right? But overall, I'm looking to take profit on this on the day trade, um, and I'll look to do that around this this zone from nineteen two fifty to nineteen uh, eighteen nine hundred. This is my support zone. If we lose that, if we lose this support zone and flip it to resistance. I am expecting new lows below that that old 17,500 level. Um, but for me, this is support. If it's lost, it flips into resistance, right? But until proven otherwise, this is support. But nevertheless, I'm staying in my shorts. I am expecting lower right now. I'm not in any rush to long this. Um, so my medium term, high term time frame bias has helped me trade this. Obviously, my higher term time frame bias was bearish, right? I was expecting new lows on the higher term time frame. Understanding my biases, understanding market conditions, playing into the context, seeing the massive bearish divergences, seeing the fear and FUD going on, all led for lower prices. And that, that's why I was so confident to tell my team yesterday, short and chill, don't try and long even the local CCs here. There's, there's no opportunities. And so far, I've been right on, on each of these calls. Um, so yeah, my, ne my next thought process is let's see the reaction down here. I have no interest in longing right now. Um, obviously, locally, we can be playing off the VWAP. That's coming in at resistance 19,790 currently, which if it does, you know, this is your, your possibility, right? If you do get this kind of drop into here and then the rally back up, you can then still get this as your local range, right? That can still be a local range high, local range low. Of course, then like swing fire pattern fell during the lows. But for me at the moment, that would be my local range. But if this does just continue to drop, then I'm looking down to my lower levels. But we could look for the swing fire pattern off this NPOC locally. Um, yeah, obviously, we, you can be aware of correlations. The correlations right now are not strong. And that is just because the, the crypto market has got a lot of fear. So even though the ES is moving up, it's not correlated today because, well, Bitcoin <laughs> or crypto in general has its own problems. Um, so, yeah, today... I'm not looking at looking at the correlations. I'm looking at the technicals. I'm looking at my levels. And that's how I'm coming in here, taking these scop trades, letting it form into a bit of a day trade. And um, yeah, level to level trading. Let's set the alerts. Let's trade the reactions. I hope that you're prepared. I hope that you're ready. I've given you my next levels of support. I've given you my next local level of resistance. Of course, I will be aware if we claim this resistance as support, we can definitely retrace all this move and we could be back up to 20,500. But that's a very big if at the moment. We need to reclaim that resistance as support. But if we break this local range to the upside, you know, let's just say we do something like this. And then instead of getting the rejection at the range high, we do break out that range high and hold it as support. Then, of course, we can get that full retracement. So, so this is one thing I just want to end with. As a professional trader, whether you like me or not, okay, I know not everybody likes me, but whether you like me or not, you cannot deny that I'm coming in here, I'm trading, I'm putting my money where my mouth is, and I am consistently making profits. It's just something that I'm showing day on day on day. So yeah, whether you whether you like me, you cannot deny that I know what I'm on about when it comes to trading. And I've hoped that I've helped you with this video. And as I was saying here, as a professional, I need to know my next level of resistance, my next level of support, where my next long opportunity is and where my next short opportunity is. I am ready and waiting for both. I have full confidence in my trades. I'm very confident in this market and I'm, I'm happy to trade my levels. Okay. It's always something you'll see from me, myself and CC Paul. If you want to see more from us, then of course you can get that over at chartchampions.com where we've got all the educational material. We've got all the education you could ever need. That is from the beginners to the experts in our speed runs. And even right now, I'm going to go back and watch this because I've been watching it the whole time. The live trading. So right now you're going to see live trading from Igor. Okay. okay. This is in his update. You can see him going over the market, explaining in detail what's going on right now. He'll go in here, explain his entries, explain his stop loss invalidations, explain his targets, all live in the time right now. And what better way, what more could you want live trading with this action going on? Well, you've got it right now over at chartchampions.com. Okay, the last announcement that I will give you is what I was obviously talking about yesterday, that if you are interested in the uh, deal that we got going on with Bybit at the moment, and this is, of course, up to you. This is the deal that we have managed to secure, but Chart Champions and Bybit have teamed up to offer you a, up to a free $30,000. Okay, so if that's of interest to you, you can sign up using our affiliate link here. 
course, Bybit has zero spot fees, so there's zero fees on the trading spot. Um, and also currently up to $30,000 deposit bonus. If that's of interest to you, you can sign up with that link that I've got over on Twitter, over on our Discord, over, I'll leave it in the description down below. That's, of course, totally up to you, but if you want to take advantage of that, something that we've managed to secure our Chart Champions users, a nice little deposit bo bonus going into Christmas, right? But if you want the education, you want the live trading, that's over at chartchampions.com. Hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed. I hope that you've learned something. I hope that you've understood the insights that I'm offering here and what exactly I'm looking for next. Thank you ever so much. Looks like we're going to get another trade play out here as predicted. And um, yeah, we'll see how we go with our next levels here. So cheers, everybody. Thank you. Hope you've understood my biases. Hope you've understood my charts. Hope you've understood my trades. And uh, even while I've made that video, this is another $2,000 or $3,000 profit <laughs> for uh, 10 minutes of speaking. <laughs> I love this game. I love you all. Thank you ever so much. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers, everybody. And have a good day. Goodbye. And of course, I'll end with the legal trade disclaimer. No financial advice in this video. It's just an entertainment, educational video only. There's no financial advice or trades on the paper, Gemma trades. Cheers, everybody. And goodbye.